in the early hours of 6th September, three Jat bypassed the India-Pakistan border post at Vaga and captured Ghosal and Diyal villages after a sharp fight. By 0600 hours, three Jat has secured Ghosal and Diyal. At 0900 hours, three Jat advanced to the Ichogil Canal on the outskirts of Lahore. They are accompanied by Charlie's squadron of Sindhya Horse, a tank regiment. The objective is to first secure the town of Dograi on the east bank of the canal. The canal was built in 1948 as a defensive barrier for the city. It runs parallel to the border and intersects with the Grand Trunk Road, eight kilometers inside Pakistan. Three Jat captured Dograi astride the Grand Trunk Road between Amritsar and Lahore. By 11.30 hours, the east bank is secure. Now they must cross the canal and advance towards Lahore. But that's a challenge. The Ichugal Canal is 112 feet wide and 30 feet deep. And the retreating Pakistani army has blown up the bridges across the canal. Of the seven infantry battalions that are part of the action, only three Jat are able to advance to the canal bank. They face a barrage of machine gun, mortar and artillery fire. But they must cross over and keep going. For Lieutenant Colonel Haid, the commanding officer of three Jat, it's the moment of reckoning. In a daring move, Lieutenant Colonel Haid leads Charlie and Alpha companies across the demolished bridge to the West Bank. They're able to secure the villages of Atokawan and Batapur on either side of the GT road. They reach the suburbs of Lahore. The logical next step is to advance to Lahore, but reinforcements do not arrive. Three Jat fall back, though hard won. Dograi must be abandoned. For Colonel Haid, it's a test of leadership. He must keep up troop morale and prepare to take Dograi once more, this time by night. Major General B.R. Varma, his adjutant in battle, recalls the action. By the time we went into action uh, on Dograi for the second time, every man in the battalion knew where to go. We possibly knew every bush around Dograi. The CO used to go along with the patrols himself and brief the platoon and the company commanders on the ground as to what their objectives would be. On 21st September, the three Jats stormed Dograi for the second time. Lieutenant Colonel Haid leads from the front again. He went around himself on all trenches talking to everybody. On a signal from Colonel Haid, 523 soldiers of three Jat launch the attack on Dograi. The armor leads the attack, followed closely by the infantry. In the dark, the town of Dogra is a maze of lanes and buildings. It's hard to tell friend from foe. But by 0400 hours, the Pakistanis are in disarray. Soon Dogra is captured for the second time in a fortnight. But within the hour, the first wave of enemy counterattacks begin. By midday 22nd September, three Jat have beaten back three counter-attacks within six hours. They are bloody and battered, but victorious. Reinforcements arrive in the evening, and then everything changes. A ceasefire is declared between the warring nations. Lieutenant Colonel Haid had led the men through fierce battle to a memorable victory. For his exemplary leadership, he was awarded the Mahavir Chakra, 
India's second highest military honor.